Hello again. In this part, we're going to look at creating the database ER. So within the MySQL Workbench uh, application, we can start by just uh, with a new project. We can rename the database to Tic-Tac-Toe. Now, once I've done this, uh, it's always a good idea to add comments. And uh, I normally do this for each of the columns and tables as well. And these generally get exported and then become part of the database description as well. So it can be useful when uh, explaining certain things. Now just adding a few tables. Now for the design we are actually working at the model part. So when we talk about the uh, the whole view model controller aspect we're now dealing with the model. And uh, for this we've got a player table and I'm going to keep it uh, simple and I'm just going to use player name. I'm going to make this the primary key and I'm just going to make it 45 characters long. Now for the other table, I'm going to make it the game table. And the game table, um, I'm going to have basically a unique primary key, but this is going to be a move index. It's not going to be an identifier for the game. So I'm going to make this an integer. Now I'm also going to add a game ID, and this there'll be more than one of these uh, for each game. And these will be used to group the actual games, whereas the game move index can double up and be used to order. Now the game grid, we're going to just set to char 9 because it's always going to be length 9 and therefore we don't need the variable aspects and uh, the, the space everything goes with that. Now uh, we're going to make the order increment for the primary key and then we're also going to default the grid to all zeros. Okay, and this is the state where the cells are all empty. Now the relationship, we're just going to have one uh, relationship there between the two tables and we'll end up with the player name as the foreign key. Again, we can add comments for a column and I'll go ahead and add the rest of these after this uh, little video demo, but uh, you get the idea how you can quite easily add uh, comments. So here I'm commenting on the fact that this uh, unique index uh, uh, also doubles up for uh, being an ID as well as a move index. Now I'm going to add a trigger, and I know we haven't done this before, but here if you put on the triggers tab, and uh, basically SQL also has default syntax for triggers, it can vary from different language. But this trigger, what I'm doing here is if we get a game ID of minus one, and this was highlighted in the flowchart design and, and the game design, uh, we want to actually then set that to a valid game ID. Now we've got the game ID column, so if we do get a game ID of minus one, we need to then go through and sum up, uh, we'll find the maximum existing game ID, add one to that, and then actually set the uh, inserted row uh, column value of game ID to this value. So here you can see we've got this new operator dot uh, game ID. So this new dot uh, stands for the new row we're inserting. And we have to do it on the before, otherwise if we change the value it will have no effect. And you see result here, we're selecting the maximum out of the game ID column, adding one to it from the game table. And if uh, the result's not null, um, or if it is null, we'll set to one, that's if there's no rows in the game table. Otherwise we should have some sort of result, and then we set that to our new uh, row value. Okay. Um, once we've done that, we can pretty much go ahead and export. Now this is the same as what we did in uh, other video tutorials where we're just going to export the SQL statements uh, to create the database. And this will include the trigger code as well. We want to get rid of that default there on the auto increment column, uh, otherwise that'll make our script fail. Uh, then we just paste it into phpMyAdmin. You can see there it's created it and we've got our two tables ready to go. Now I'm running the uh, Deo Generate, and there we have our Deo Generation script. Now we can go and have a look at the classes we've generated, and here we have the uh, Deo classes, and you can see the comments have come through uh, as well, and there's also comments in the SQL script. And that's pretty much it.